when we have a child who does the eye rolling and you know where they're looking for a fight they they love the action of a fight they have this level of chaos inside of them and they want to create a level of chaos on the outside that equals the level of chaos on the inside so they do that with the na 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 try to get us engaged in that battle they ha it's called cognitive dissonance for you know the big term that doesn't fit outside of the house outside of their their spirit the house is calm and peaceful and filled with joy inside there's this chaos and tension so they want to change the environment i don't let them have that control when they roll their eyes and go na 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 i'll say wow you know you look like you're looking for a fight or something there why don't you go write a paper or you write a paragraph depends on how old the child is writing should not become punishment because writing is a gift that some people have and we don't want to make them learn to hate writing by okay write a thousand sentences about rolling your eyes or something but write a paragraph about what you're feeling right now or what's going on with you that you need to nah, 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 nah. so they're going getting centered thinking about what's going on coming back there is no chaos I deal with it in a much calmer way and then I realize the child needs some chaos I'm gonna give them chaos in a fun way I might you know say oh my gosh there's a bug crawling down your neck and then we do the chase the bug and the tickle and the run through the house you know um, sometimes we get the squirty whipped cream and we make mustaches on all the kids you know just fun chaotic things like that that I do on purpose in a loving way rather than letting them do the chaos in a destructive angry way 